I am still finishing up a little bit more on the on the sculpture. And what I'm working on right now is so here is my Indian uh, guru with his third eye, and I'm going to try and get some light to shine through the third eye for that aspect of illumination and insight. So we have the knowledge, we have the wisdom, we have the insight of how our character is going to welcome our guests as they arrive. And I'm going to be creating a nice big smile in this area and maybe making the chin a little bit more pronounced. And so as we now have this whole thing and the fire, the smoke will come out on uh, up on that, uh, that, that entity. So this is all chimney that I have freeform built. So darling, why don't you come on down and excuse the bouncing of the, of, the, of the camera as she walks down the stairs because I want to bring you to another interesting angle and so yeah no don't no, no, go to this end here sort of so so you can now actually see a little bit more of the pronunciation of of the face from from the different from the different angles so we have two angles that I really try to to focus on and this is really clay sand straw, it's cob that was supposed to be a wall and then it just kept evolving and I started adding the bottles from the bottom up in the evolution. But I also, as you, as you know from the previous videos, I wanted to do an oven. And this is the oven component of what we have now created and, and done over here. So first again, we built a very, very solid base and then I put the bricks down and so it's starting to rain and luckily we have a good roof we've got good hats we've got good boots so the rain does not affect us at all and hence the base is 10 inches thick now some people say an insulated base or an oven is not that important because all the heat rises but I do think an insulated base is very important in the retention of heat because it's part of the thermal mass and when this oven is properly fired up, fully cured, we should be able to get 24 to 36 hours of cooking ability. So the walls are getting thicker and thicker as I'm adding now thermal mass. And then eventually I have to come in and on these humps, I have to put in some more insulation, which is going to be clay slip straw, a light clay slip straw, which is going to be very straw heavy to enable the heat retention. So the fire, and I built it uh, using sand inside. And I put a, again, if you look at some of the previous videos, I put one layer, one small brick, this brick uh, side size. I put this brick on the very base all the way around. And then I put cardboard. And the cardboard sat inside of the brick like this. And I then poured the sand on this side to hold the cardboard up against the brick. And then I began to build the dome. And I kept packing and packing and packing from the top down, compacting the, 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 up against the cardboard as I was shaping the cardboard and holding that shape before finally I was able to put the first layer of clay. And I already had the door made and the door will actually latch shut. So we have the door in the, in the, in the frame. I put the bricks then I put the sand and then I built the outer layer and got the dome uh, established the way I wanted it to be established and then I started building more and more thermal mass until I got to this level. And then at this level, it had taken me two days with the sand inside and the sand obviously is drying and I did not use wet sand. I used regular dry building sand and it took three solid big, big bags which are probably a hundred pounds a bag so there's probably 350 pounds of just sand inside of the oven. And then when I began to build up the next level, I'd open up the door and I started scooping out the sand and throw it into the bucket. And so my bucket has clay, so I have quite a sandy clay mix. And then I built this brick in here so I can actually close the door, close the oven down and retain mm. the heat. And when I'm starting the fire, I'll open up this brick, make the fire in the front so that the fire can shoot straight up this chimney around the sculpture and out. And hopefully there will be no smoke coming into the, the cob cottage. So 
I think our vacation rental guests are going to have an incredible experience that we are going to be having here as we as we go forward welcoming people and showing them how simple life can be and the small pleasures that can be so big and so it will be a really enjoyable time and it's also about creating friendships and some of our vacation rental guests have become friends and then we have friends from all over the world who fly in and come and join us so this is really a place of union a place of sharing a place of rejuvenation of relaxation and then we have the koi pond out there with the sound of the water falling as well it's a wonderful experience and i hope you can create these experiences in your own backyard on your own property and if you can't come hang out with us we'll give it to you